In this second of five video on vectors, we look at how to visualise a vector as an arrow and how to do vector addition and scalar vector multiplication. So we're going to be focusing on two vectors now over R. So this is where we provide two sets of numbers, in this case 5 and 7. When we have a two vector over R, we can represent the vector as an arrow with its tail at the origin, which in our case is always going to be 0, 0, and its head at the coordinate supplied, in this case 5, 7. So what about minus 8, 3.5? So this should be nice and easy. Minus 8 would come back to here, and 3.5 would come over to here, so hopefully that should be our vector. 3.5 should bring us out to here. Minus 5 should bring us out to here. And so this vector should be like that. A 3 vector over R could also easily be represented by an arrow in a 3 dimensional space which would then provide you with the information you needed to map a straight path from origin to destination. You can easily also add vectors together, subtract vectors from each other, and perform what is called scalar vector multiplication. And you have to be able to do all three of these actions under exam conditions. So let's look at some examples of how to do each now. So let's start by looking at how to add vectors. So we have a vector A, 2, 3, and B of 4, 5. Well, first of all, let's look, let's see what they look like. So there's the two vectors uh, plotted on our graph. Now, to add one vector to another, you simply take one of the vectors, in this case, we'll take the second vector, B, and move it onto the end of vector A. So that would now look like that. You then draw a point from the origin to the to the tip of B, and this new vector C is the resultant addition of A and B together. And of course we can see that here, because 2 plus 6 is 8, and we've come out 8, and 3 plus 5 is 8, and we've come up 8. Subtracting vectors is equally as simple. You take the two vectors, A and B. Let's see what they look like um, on our graph. So there's our two vectors. Now, if I want to subtract vector A from B, I have to flip vector A and then again take it from the point of vector B. So let's have a look at that. So there's vector A flipped. And now, having taken A from B, I draw a line from the source to the tip of A and we can see that the subtracting A from B gives us vector C. And again, you can see the maths works. 4 from 8 is 4, and 7 from 5 is minus 2. The last thing is being able to perform scalar vector multiplication. And this is really straightforward. You're simply multiplying the vector by the number that's given in the exam. So we're going to multiply this vector A by 2, we're going to multiply B by 3.5, and C by 1.25. So first, let's map the three vectors onto our graph, and then simply multiply in a distance. So A is multiplied by 2, so 4 by 2 becomes 8 by 4. And so on for vector B and vector C.